Negan's dick comment was also in the comics. There are a lot of similarities and differences between The Walking Dead TV show and the comics. So this video, I want to talk about 10 of my favorite similarities and differences between The Walking Dead comics and Season 8, Episode 1 of The Walking Dead. Oh, and there are minor spoilers in this video, so if you don't want any spoilers for Season 8, you probably shouldn't watch this. The only major spoiler is in number 10, so if you don't care about minor spoilers but you don't want a possibly major one, just stop watching after number nine. All right, let's do this. Number one, this is your show. I love the small moment between Michonne and Carl as Rick was getting ready to leave to deal with the saviors. It was even cooler when you realized the dialogue between Michonne and Carl this episode about him being in charge was almost identical to the comics. Help me? Oh yeah. This is your show. Except in the comics, Andrea is Rick's lover and the one saying it to Carl. Number two, speech. Personally, I really enjoyed seeing Maggie, Ezekiel, and Rick all taking turns giving a pep talk to their people. But in the comics, it is mostly Rick running the show and Maggie isn't up on a vehicle inspiring the masses. Also, they do the whole speech thing at their home base instead of out and about, where yelling speech rallies probably isn't a good idea. Number three, transport. We see in the show that they decked their vehicles in armor and made their RV look like it was crying for help. In the comics, they also come with vehicles, but they don't put armor on them like they do in the show, and they don't hide behind them while talking to Negan. Now, they do get in the vehicles and get away after the Walker Horde is coming, which was their plan all along. Make the sanctuary overrun by walkers while they take care of other things. Oh, and how they got the walkers to the sanctuary is way more complex in the show. I actually really like seeing the show's version of getting the walkers there much better. Kind of a 3.5, but I didn't want to put this in a separate number. They also get all the bullets for attacking the sanctuary from Eugene, who isn't with Negan at this point, but leading a bullet-making operation for Rick and the war. Actually, talking about the group brings me to number four, group size. I've complained. A, a bit, over the years about how there just doesn't seem to be enough people in all the communities in the show, especially when you see the numbers in the communities in the comics. So, guess what? I'm gonna complain a bit more again. There is a vast difference between the numbers in the show and the numbers in the comic that go to confront Negan and begin All Out War. It is much scarier, and Negan is even a lot more nervous in the comics because of it where in the show he seems mostly confident until the shooting begins. I personally wish they would up the numbers in the communities in the TV show, but I understand they do have budget constraints. You really don't have budget constraints with a comic with adding more people in, I think. Number five, dick size. If you thought Negan's dick talk was show only, oh boy, you need to read the comics. No, seriously, go read the comics, they're amazing. He has a fascination with talking about them. However, his talking of measuring dicks- Line of fire because I want to play my dick is bigger than yours. It is. Is right from the comics as well and just as hilarious. Number six, Negan by himself. In the show, Negan comes out with his lieutenants and stands there like a complete idiot. However, in the comics, Negan comes out by himself and is much further away from the group. In the show, they are absurdly close to each other. Absurdly close to each other. I thought it was dumb how close Negan and Rick were in the comics, but the show just took it to a whole nother fucking level. Number seven, Gregory's speech. Though Gregory comes to the saviors in a different way in the comics, the speech he gives about giving up is the same. And? Their families will be thrown out and will be left to fend for themselves. In the comics, again, it's only Negan outside, and he's the one that kicks Gregory away, not the other guy we see in the show. Another big difference in this moment is that eight members of Hilltop actually leave after Gregory's warning. In the show, 
no one leaves. But going back to the number issues, I would imagine if they had eight people leave, like in the comics, it would absolutely devastate their numbers because they didn't bring a lot of people on this mission in the TV show. They also wanted to show that Maggie was the new leader of Hilltop and that everyone loved her. If they had some people leave, it might confuse the audience a little bit or not get across what they were trying to show. Number eight. Snipers. It is really odd that in this episode, Negan didn't have snipers ready to fire. In the comics, there are snipers and they get a shot off and kill a guy before Rick yells at them for not watching the windows. Number nine, shitting pants. Negan, of course, says the pants shitting line in the comics. It's, it's Negan. However, unlike in the show where he says it to Gabriel, I hope you got your shitting pants on. In the comics, he says it to Dwight as they're being surrounded by the walkers at the sanctuary. Number 10, Old Rick. Okay, number 10 is where the massive spoilers are, so if you don't want massive spoilers for season eight or potential massive spoilers, leave now. Okay, so older Rick is absolutely in the comics. So after Rick defeats Negan, we have a time jump in the comics. We're unsure how many years it is, but Rick is using a cane, likely because Negan broke his leg, just like in the comics. The show could be hinting we're going to get a similar time jump in the show, which I am all for. Also, there's a mention of a carnival, and I won't spoil that, but someone deadly might be in the crowd they showed. All right, so those were 10 of my favorite similarities and differences between season eight, episode one, and the comics. If you wanna find more similarities and differences, I would check out issues 115 and 116. Besides that, make sure you like, subscribe, and come back for more videos.